You're the best. Most often that's something that many parents say or think when it comes to their kids. But a recent study shows kids who are overvalued can become narcissistic later in life, a trait that can lead to violence. In tonight's Healthier Me, Valley News Team's Macy Enger has some warning signs for parents. Why? At the playground, in the classroom, or just hanging out with the family, kids have a habit of wanting attention. I want this, I want that. Um, it's, it's always the I, 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 and, and it's, that's a natural instinct as a child. She's usually very thoughtful of others in the first place, but that's just raising her that way. Sanford's head of child and adolescent behavior says that's the key to raising compassionate children. Teach towards what you want, not towards what you don't want. A point that moms and dads should be aware of. After a recent study looked at 7 to 11 year olds and found kids who were told they're better than others, tended to have narcissistic traits down the road. Making sure in your parenting that you're not putting other people down at the expense of raising up your own child. But it's not just parenting. Children learn by example. Showing your children that you make other people's well-being a priority. You know, really being cognizant of yourself as, am, am I doing good things? In the age of Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat, it's easy to take a selfie and another, and another, until your page is full of your own accomplishments. And experts say that should alert parents there's a problem. It's not looking at that bigger picture of what did I do in my community and what did my team do together, you know. So we have to be always cautious. There's a balance when it comes to encouraging your kids. Yes, of course, praise your children, of course, but not to the point that they're doing it better than anybody else. And parents handle it different ways. Well, I think it's important for children to, um, to, to learn about other cultures and learn about what's going on in the world. She has to be responsible and she has to know why, uh, why should I ask her to do something. But experts say it's a simple concept. Show them sharing, caring. That can be taught in day-to-day -day life, eating with the family, flying a kite, or even taking turns going down the slide. In Fargo, Macy Inger, Valley News Live. Now, if parents felt their kids had issues with their behavior and wanted to reach out for more advice, experts suggest talking with your family doctor. Or you can contact Sanford Behavioral Health. We have attached a link on our website. Just go to valleynewslive.com and click on this story.